Hi everyone, Neil here. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about FS Logic's profile sizing. Okay, um, it's something well, FS Logic profile and story sizing. Um, something we we come across quite often, um, especially with people um, responding to sort of problems around slow log on and log off experiences. Um, sometimes it can be down to a sort of profile um, storage that isn't sized correctly. So. Um, back to basics, what is the FH Logic profile? So it enables you to, um, well, as it says in the tent, enables you to sort of save your profile settings to a file share, okay? And there is an agent which sits on the AVD hosts, which basically redirects the profile directory um, onto a, a share which you can specify, okay? So what we do is we create the Azure file share. Um, this can be done in Azure, or it can be done via an area. Um, now, this can be a Azure file share, normally premium would recommend, or you can use a NetApp file share. Um, it's recommended to create a file share per host pool um, because there is a, a file limit handle um, limit. I think it's a thousand. So if you have like more than a thousand concurrent users um, on that file share, um, it could cause uh, problems with files, uh, sort of profiles not being able to load. So, based on that, let's do some scenarios. So, if I've got an environment where I've got 500 users, so let me just flick to a screen that we're having earlier, which can help you with this. Um, okay, so imagine a scenario where I've got 500 users. Okay, so the Microsoft recommended practice is to have a IOPS is steady state is 10, and sign in, sign out, sign in, sign out is 50 IOPS per user. Okay, so. That looks like in a steady state, we need for 500 users, we need 5,000 IOPS. And for sign in and sign out, we need 25,000 IOPS. Okay. Now, if you use Azure Fast Premium, um, it has a burst capability, right? And that burst capability will enable you to sort of accommodate temporary bursts in sort of work in IOPS, which is what's going to happen when we get the sign in sign out. So the figure we want to really look in towards is the kind of 5000 IOPS to, to give us that. And the rule of thumb with storage is obviously the more storage you provision, the more IOPS that you get, because essentially storage is just a disk. Each disk has a set number of IOPS on that disk. And therefore, the more disks we have, the more storage we have, the more IOPS that we're going to get. Okay, and then more IOPS equals better performance for the user and equals a better login and logout experience. That's generally how this works. So, IOPS wise, we need 5,000 IOPS, um, and per I'm going to assume 10 gigabytes per user. Um, so we can go more and less than that, but it depends on the specific scenarios. But on average, we see like 10 gigabytes per user. Um, and though, therefore, based on that analysis, we need five terabytes of storage. Okay. So what we can actually do within Nerdio is we can set the provision size um, and that's going to be the minimum size as in used capacity. So if I've got 500 users, each averaging around 10, uh, sort of, uh, 10 gigabits, it's going to give us five terabytes of storage. Okay, so if I just go into here and say the used capacity, so if I want to say put this to 5,000 gigabytes, so therefore that's going to be 5,000 gigabytes. And that's how you're going to tell me here and uh, the amount of IOPS that it's going to give me as well. So uh, based on that, my minimum is going to be 5,415 IOPS and my maximum is going to be 10,000. Um, and it's going to give me a burst capability of up to 30,000 IOPS. So therefore I can tell we're well within the limits there, okay? that we're all good with that the problem is when like some customers for example they'll just provision like a thousand iops right so if i go in here and just say like maximum of thousand apps you can see that i've only got like a baseline os of like between 14 15 and 10 thousand iops and a burst so that might not be enough okay we may have some slow performance there so this is why it's really important um, to, to get the sizing right of your um, sort of Azure file shares or, or NetApp file shares. And the good thing is as well, so we can enable auto scanning within Nadio, and that's basically going to grow the storage for you as well. Okay, so um, for example, if we double that number of five, 500 users to 1,000 users, um, and then Nadio is automatically going to pick that up, and then I can say, right, I want my minimum size to be use capacity plus maybe, I don't know, uh, 500 gig and, and that means that when it runs out of storage it's automatically going to increase it and therefore you get a better performance as well 
um, because you're adding more storage onto that as well. So um, that's to today's video. Um, hopefully I haven't rumbled too much, um, but as I say, when you're sizing your FHRT profile storage, make sure you get it right. Okay, remember IOPS and the capacity are the two things that you need to, to work on. Steady state IOPS, 10 sign in, sign out IOPS equals 50. Okay, so times that by the number of concurrent users that you're having um, on, on your solution. Um, and obviously make sure you've got enough capacity. Um, by default, the maximum FHRT user profile is 30 gigs. You can increase that. But also make sure that you are um, deleting your profiles as well. Okay, so if your user leaves the company, make sure that profile is removed because if you're paying for the storage, if you're using storage, you're paying for it. And storage can get very expensive. Okay, you can be paying uh, thousands of pounds a month uh, for storage. Um, and so it's good to, number one, delete any unused profiles. Um, and number two, shrink the storage as well um, using the the, uh, the the tool that Jim Moyle creates, the, the FS shrink. FS Logic Shrink Utility, and that will basically. Uh, so the, the the latest version of FS Logic actually does that out of the box. So when the user logs off, it'll remove um, all the white space. If you're using an early version of FS Logic, we have a, a Shrink FSL tool, um, which you can also configure to run by Nerdio. Um, and that will basically run on a weekly, daily, monthly basis, and that'll just go across your stories, delete all of your older profiles, and also delete all the white space as well. Okay, so that's just some quick tips about reducing the space of your FS. Sort your profiles. Okay, thanks, and I'll uh, speak to you on Monday. Thanks, bye bye.